when does the law let down ordinary people? When does the law fail to protect ordinary people as they go about the tasks of everyday life? If we have a situation where ordinary people are getting ripped off, then there's something wrong with the law. In the 1990s, I was a law professor in Cleveland, Ohio, and there a colleague and I noticed that newly built houses in downtown Cleveland were quickly going into foreclosure. We were totally puzzled by this. Why would a bank make a loan to build a house if the loan was going to go into default so quickly. So we started digging. And what we discovered was the subprime lending market. We were very disturbed by what we saw. And in 2002, we proposed that no mortgage loan should be made unless the borrower had a reasonable ability to repay the loan. Finally, in 2010, after the crisis exploded, Congress adopted many of our proposals. I feel very strongly that my law students at Boston College Law School should be able to make a meaningful contribution to the development of policy. And so my task is to equip my students with the analytical skills and the toolkit so that they can become effective policy makers devoted to social change. To think about where the law could do a better job in making sure that financial products like credit cards, like short-term loans, like auto loans, like student loans, help people become more secure financially, not less secure. Thank you.